Okay, so today what I have is a Toshiba. It's an older model Toshiba and uh, there's an issue with the actual uh, drive, the actual hard drive. So um, apparently it, what I saw was a strange partition, a raw partition, which is supposed to be uh, the Windows 10 partition. Um, I, it, it's, it's actually not supposed to be a raw partition. It's supposed to be like, you know, like an NTFS or whatever partition, but for some reason it was raw, so it was corrupted. And so it, the system wouldn't boot. Um, after I tried to reinstall and so forth, it was still really, really slow. And one of the signs of an actually failing drive is the fact that it's super slow. For example, when you try to install a Windows 10, for example, this was taking more than three hours. So they clearly something was up with it, something was wrong. All right, so the nice thing about this is this is an older model, Toshiba. I don't exactly remember the name model, so we should mention it. Uh, I should mention this. Of course, this is uh, one of my friend's laptop, and so I'm trying to help her out with it. Um, I'm also on the DJI Osmo here, so please excuse the little shaking as well too in the process as well. Um, so it's a Satellite L755D. It's supposed to be fairly old um, from the design, from the look of it, etc. But that's okay. Um, this happens. So one of the things that um, I you should probably do before changing a drive is of course making sure, and I don't know if the, I can actually do that with this one, but I'm going to take out the battery just for safety reasons and um, the nice thing about this you know these older systems is that there's usually the compartment to access the drive from the outside for example my dell i don't know if i actually had a video on that but my dell you, you cannot actually open it from the outside so i'm just showing you guys what i am doing now she also sent me a replacement drive this is a used drive but hopefully this will be a working drive so Pretty much, let's have a look at opening this up and then replacing it, and hopefully it works. So, it just has like two screws here. Hopefully, it'll be easy to come out. And uh, yeah, so this makes it so much easier because uh, compared to my Dell laptop, which was an uh, Inspiron, I think it was a uh, 15 r um, 5110, it... You have to take out the entire motherboard. I don't know why they poorly designed that system like that. But this, you know, these are the good old days of the older laptop designs. Uh, where maintenance is supposed to be easy. Let me just make sure there's no other screw. It doesn't seem like it has another screw. It's been heavily modified with all these different uh, stuff. But uh, there we go. So... Hopefully, once it's not an IDE drive, we should be okay. Um, it should be a SATA drive, so we just have a look at it. So there's some more things to open up here. I'm going to be very gentle because um, this plastic stuff is not really easy to... If I, could, I don't want to damage that, but I may... I don't think I have anything thinner than this. Let's see. Just using a normal makeshift screwdriver, Philip. For the pet screwdriver worst thing at this point is to actually um yeah i don't i don't think that's gonna work and i and just to not to risk it i am going to try something a bit smaller so please excuse me while i get my um smaller kit now these i don't usually use these screwdrivers because they are really really um so thin that it's hard to grip on them and my hands are fairly big um but yeah what we could use let's see if this will work that's super tight okay yeah that worked look at how this is like a really super small screw unbelievable how small that screw is and of course we have a bracket here i wonder this bracket can actually come out very easily here okay so i'm just kind of trying to slide it out oh and that came out quite easy um compared to so it wasn't seized i guess um which is great um so now we need to take out this part this is just like the, the grip piece right that we that was part of it so just gonna do that now I think I'm going to use back this handle. You see, that's where the handle comes in. That's why I prefer. That's why I prefer these screwdrivers because you get a better grip. 
unfortunately the screws are very thin so I may not actually be able to use this and the worst thing is to damage one of these screws because to get that part out okay uh, not so much luck today guys so we'll have to try to use oh that's really hard that's really tight you see it's like nearly wow yep that's that's too tight i don't know how i'm gonna get that out but let's we'll try to work with if that doesn't work i'll have to bring another kit unfortunately i didn't, didn't plan that for this video but let's see oh yeah you don't want to open that you know okay all right we'll bring out we'll bring out the next kit which is my full thanks to my uncle uncle Sharma for this kit i have this kit for years and it's it's a pretty decent kit as well decent accuracy as well somebody used this and bent this i have no idea how but this might work let's hope i am lucky yep you see look the, the correct tools eh? that that's so important as it pros as it professionals we really need to have the correct tools and backup tools as you can see here all right so didn't even break our sweat using the correct tools so we're just taking out these this is like the i i don't want to call it the tree because it's not a full tree but it is like a partial, just a piece of a tree. Look at that. Just a, just a simple piece of a tree. And let's have a look at this drive. So this drive is a Western Digital Scorpio drive. And it's, it's a Class B drive. And it was manufactured February 2008. So, I mean, in terms of, you, you, this laptop got a lot of, uh, a lot of life. This, this drive, a lot of life, 5400. 250 gigabyte drive so i mean that was about time changing unfortunately she lost the data but um it's going to be replaced by a 7200 rpm drive that is twice the size so this one is it seems to be hitachi seems it's of course it's used it's scratched up a little bit there but um that's okay and this one as i said 7200 500 gigabyte that was a 250 gigabyte drive all right, so we're going to do the same thing. We just make sure that we have this thing correctly um, when it goes back in, that it goes back in correctly, right? So that's how we expect it to go back in. So we make sure that the tray, again, is placed back in the correct spot like this. And, you know, mixing this up, I have mixed this up a few times. And when you mix it up, well, it gives you a little extra hard. It's not hard, but it gives you extra work. So you would want to try to not mix this up. So that's why I do that. I make sure that it's in the correct alignment and so forth. Just to save some time. But this is pretty simple. It's not really too hard. And um, thankfully, as I said, Toshiba designed this laptop back then to be quite simple. In fact, this is one of the more simple uh, trays because you usually oh excuse me usually you have um tree on the top tree on the side etc and that's kind of messed up you know um uh, the, the, it's actually like a whole metal plastic tree uh in this case it uh, wasn't it wasn't like that so it's really simple and so you you know again too you don't want to impact your drive as much as possible like what i just did which you know, the thing about that is that, um, it, again, only when, you, when you're when doing YouTube videos, these messed up things happen. I mean, on unusual circumstances, they don't. And, uh, you know, it's a bit sad. The difficulties of doing stuff on YouTube. But we nearly finished, I think. And we will actually do a test to see whether that actually worked or not uh, but for all intents and purposes I don't see why this shouldn't work
I never really liked these plastic things though. But, because I always think that I could break them. Uh, they're really hard to break, but you never know the one time that you do it the wrong way if it's going to break. So. Okay. Yeah, and that is pretty much it. I don't usually see people removing the battery, but as I said, it's, you know, it's important to make sure safety comes first. And so I'm going to place back in the battery, back where it belongs, pack my stuff back. And then <coughs> it's really important, of course, to pack your tech back, because if you don't pack your tech back, the one screwdriver that you need is the one screwdriver that will be missing. So just gonna put that back there. You see, look, didn't put the correct screwdriver in, all right? So we have the screwdriver in, we have the old drive out, and that's pretty much changing the drive. That's pretty much changing the hard drive. So now what we should probably do is just test to make sure it detects the drive. And um, for those of you who are not new, this is obviously going to be a very redundant piece, but um, also I had some issues with the keyboard. So I had to actually use an external keyboard. Um, and that's what you're seeing here. I'm just plugging in the external keyboard into onto the uh, system itself. And of course we need to make sure we have the correct power, which we do, power adapter that is. And so we plug the power adapter in. As you can see, this got a lot of work. You can see uh, it's protected there as well too. I mean, whoever worked on this, they seriously spent some serious time on it. Get that in plugged in. Okay. Now, this is what I have my Windows 10 uh, set up on. But before we go to Windows 10, let's have a look at the laptop. Let's make sure it boots up. And if I could get to the setup screen to have a look F2 to set up and yeah okay good so we see that it's detecting the Hitachi drive it has 4 gigs of memory AMD A6 3400M it's not a bad system per se uh, missing a few options and so forth but uh, overall overall a SSD would have w did wonders for this computer but um, I, it just went with what what she had at that point in time so one of the things you want to do is if you're using USB, you have to make sure in the boot that you use you you put the priority to USB at the top. And um yeah, so that's kind of changing the drive. And maybe I'll go through another one where I'm going to also install Windows. So stay tuned for that, I guess. Alright, so thanks for watching. I'm make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again soon. Another episode of RTHD coming to a YouTube screen near you. Take care, bye.